Hey, this is Derek Markham bringing you yet another solar gadget review. I am at Derek Markham on Twitter. If you do that kind of thing, I'm on there quite a bit, so you can catch up with me there. This week I've got a 6 watt USB solar panel from Endless Sun Solar. That is EndlessSunSolar.com. This is a very small panel. It's, it's a 6 watt, 1 amp, what they call 6 watt, 5 volt, 1 amp panel only weighs about eight ounces and it folds up it's about an inch thick I mean there's the charge port so you can't get it any smaller than that but it's pretty small and it's flexible pretty durable it closes up to about the size of a book unfolds to I don't know 20 inches let me see about 20 inches long there's the three panels very thin very thin and flexible you can't do that with a lot of chargers I mean, there's a lot that fold up, they're pretty durable, but this one is probably, of the ones that I've reviewed so far, is probably the lightest, uh, most flexible one, and it is a sealed, these panels are sealed in there, so they can be used in damp conditions, rain, sleet, snow, um, I guess assuming that you can waterproof your cord and whatever you're charging, keep the water from dripping down there, you could use it in just about any weather conditions. does have hanging grommet, one at the top or maybe at the bottom if, if you prefer, and two at the other end. I ended up taking a couple little pieces of what we call bailing wire, fencing wire, and just made, making some S-hooks that are real lightweight. I can clip this on. I uh, clipped this onto a garden fence and just hung it the other day. The wind was starting to catch it, so I hooked another one down here to keep it from spinning. I like this panel. I think it has, uh, this charger rather, I think it has a lot of potential. Uh, there it is, it snaps together, stays pretty secure. It doesn't come with a carrying case, it is the carrying case. These are what they call SIGs cells on here, 15% efficient, copper, indium, gallium, disilinide, thin film. And one of the benefits of these is that they're supposed to perform better in low light and shaded conditions. So you are harvesting more effectively throughout the day, you know, longer throughout the day. Uh, the SIG cells also are sensitive to a larger range in the light spectrum. So according to what I've been able to find, you know, traditional or conventional poly or uh, monocrystalline solar cells are harvesting in the 400 to 700 nanometer range, the visible range of light basically, and these SIG cells can harvest from 300 up to 1300 nanometer, um, and they are touted as not losing their performance over time, either through um, you know strong exposure to, to light and heat for long periods, some of the other panels or chargers have shown that. I haven't personally experienced that, this is just what I've found through reading, whereas these SIG cells are supposed to be longer lasting and give you, according to the company, a 20% higher output per rated watt in real world conditions because they're able to cope with things like shading better. So one of the drawbacks on this, I mean, I always look through and poke holes and things, is it's easy to hang the panel and plug it into the charging port there, but then you've got to hang your gadget somewhere right so there's no pocket or anything that could be a big improvement I suppose you could you know jerry rig something with a rubber band and and hang your device there or you hang this on your backpack and run the cord into your pocket with the unit uh, it doesn't stand on itself you could lean it this direction against something but I noticed you know there's a tendency to wobble you can do it you can prop it up it's not a problem uh, but it's not or you can lay it flat but you can, you know, you're not going to really prop it up here. You're going to have to hang it, which is fine. You know, it is what it is. All right, so here I've got the Apollo 6 hooked up to an iPad 2. It's in a wireless keyboard case from Zag, which I also like a lot. A little product recommend there. But you can't really see this. I couldn't capture this in the video. So it's charging now. It's plugged in and charging. It's about 65%. It's charging fine. So what I've been doing is trying to get it to stop charging just by shading some of the cells. So shading one, 
of those at a time doesn't cause it to stop charging. Oops, screened out here. But I did just notice that if I fully shade two of them and basically take them out, it will stop charging. However, and I should say, it doesn't start charging again. So if you have this in your pack and you think that it's going to start charging again, I think this is a flaw, I mean not a flaw, a drawback on a lot of USB charging devices, um, is that they don't restart. And so in order to get this to start charging again, I've got to unplug it, physically unplug it, and plug it in again. I could unplug it here, it doesn't really matter where. But that, I think... I don't know if it's a fatal flaw because it's in so many of these things, but it is something to be wary of. If it's something that you have in your pack, you're carrying it around. If you go in a shady area and it stops charging, you think you're charging it all day, you might end up with a dead battery at the end of the day and or when you're done and wonder what's up. The solar charger sucks, but it's really you just have to plug it, unplug it and plug it back in again to get it to start charging again. Alright, so to summarize, Endless Sun Solar Apollo 6 Solar USB Charger, 6 watts, 5 volt, 1 amp. Uh, these are thin film, flexible solar cells. Uh, it's pretty ruggedly made, it's sort of like rubberized canvas almost. You know, flexible case, it snaps securely in there. They run about $99. You can buy them from EndlessSunSolar.com or on Amazon.com. Thanks for watching.